NASA shut down the space shuttle program last year after more than 130 missions. In every single one of them, New Mexico's White Sands test facility played a major role. Today, the staff there got a chance to say goodbye in spectacular fashion with a flyover by Shuttle Endeavor. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is there and has the story. For nearly 20 years, Space Shuttle Endeavor flew to the greatest of heights. Today, it needed a little help piggybacking on a 747 on its cross-country farewell from Florida. Its destination, a Los Angeles museum. But before it gets there, Endeavor took time to say goodbye to White Sands Test Facility. For decades, White Sands tested and repaired shuttle materials and propulsion engines. In 1982, Space Shuttle Columbia landed there. The Space Shuttle program is now mothballed, but today, White Sands staff got a chance to say goodbye. I'm actually off today, but I knew that the best place to see it would be here at White Sands Test Facility, so I came into work and was able to get my kids to come in as well. This could be the last time a space shuttle will be in any sort of flight. Robert Court with White Sands says it's all a little bittersweet. Very proud of, of what we, this facility, has done to support the program over the years. And I'm um, sad to see it go, but uh, I know it means we can move on to bigger and better things. Court tells me those new things include new commercial projects and continuing to support both NASA and the International Space Station. At White Sands Test Facility, Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Endeavor landed at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California this afternoon. Tomorrow it will fly over several California sites that have been important to the program before landing at LAX. Next month, it will be moved on Los Angeles City streets to its permanent home at the California Science Center.